In today's mini lesson, we will be answering the essential question, how do readers choose a book that is just right? Everyone is good at something. What are you good at? Talk and turn with a partner sitting next to you and talk about what you are good at for one minute. Pause the video for this talk and turn. Some of us are better at reading than others, and that's okay. We are all going to get better at reading this year. The truth is, in order to get better at reading, you actually have to read more. During Reader's Workshop, you need to choose a book that is just right for you in order for you to become a better reader. The book can't be too hard and it shouldn't be too easy. One of the biggest takeaways when we talk about building a community of readers is the idea that teachers need to give students the opportunity to talk about books and talk about what they are reading. We need to create safe environments for our students to be open and honest if they are struggling with a book that they choose and one that we can do, one way that we can do that is by sharing with them our own personal experiences. I often share the story of how I tried to read the chapter book Little Women for the first time in grade five, and I hated it. Here's me with two bro my two brothers when I was in fifth grade. There were so many words in Little Women, and honestly, I was still building my stamina, my reading stamina at that point. So this book was really too hard for me. I remember abandoning this book and I chose an easier one at the time because I would be able to enjoy the easier book more at this time because I could understand it. I told myself that I would try Little Women again when I was older. So a few years later in high school, and here's me in high school, I tried to read Little Women again. This time I was 16 and I had been reading pretty consistently in the years in between and the second time I read the book, I loved it. It did not even seem like the same book to me anymore. Teachers need to share more stories like this with our students so that you guys do not feel ashamed of the reading process. So here's my advice to you. Abandon books that are too hard for you. If you start to read a book and don't understand it, choose a different book. Maybe you will be able to come back to the book later in the year, in the year, like say April or May, or in a few years like I did with Little Women. Now let's talk about two easy books. Is it okay to sometimes read those? To be quite honest, the one and only Ivan was too easy for me, but I read it anyway. And sometimes it's okay to read an easy book because you really like the author or the cover. In fact, easy books help us gain reading stamina because they are easy enough for us to read all the way through without too much work or effort. But we need to be sure we are also choosing books that are just right for us and not just too easy all the time. That means if I see one or two too easy books on your reading log, that's okay. But if that's all you read, we may have a conversation to challenge you with some higher level books. When is a book just right for me? when I was able to understand the story and it made me ask questions or think about things in my own life. There were only a few words that I didn't know and I had to use the context to help me figure out what those words meant or I looked them up and they made sense to me. That's what a just right book is for you. One strategy to help us find just right books is the five finger rule. Open a book to any page. Start reading. Hold up a finger every time you see a word you do not know. If you do not know zero to one word on the page, then the book is probably too easy for you. If you do not know two to three words on the page, 
then the book is probably just right for you. If you do not know four words on the page, the book is okay to try. If you do not know five or more words on the page, then the book is probably too hard. What are you reading right now? I want you to be reading books that make you think and challenge you a little bit. Use the five finger rule to test the book you are reading right now. Is it too easy? A perfect choice? Give it a try? Or too hard for you? Pause this video and then come back once you've done the five finger rule test on the book you're reading right now. Okay, it's activity time. Go through your stack of books. Practice using the five finger rule to determine if it is a just right book for you or not. Sort between books that you, that are, you think are just right and that you've practiced the five finger rule on and those that are not to gain practice. Consider those just right books as potentials for reading next or in the future if they interest you. Pause the video and come back after the students have had time to browse their book stack and complete this activity. Which books or book did you select and why did you find those interesting? Talk and turn with the person sitting next to you and discuss what you discovered. After two minutes, the teacher will call on a few volunteers who will share with the class their findings. Write the title of one book you may be interested in reading on a sticky note or post-it note, including why you found this book interesting. This is not meant to lock you into a book choice, but to get you familiar with the books available for you to read and to keep trying new and different books.